Colorado State University is launching a natural gas initiative. CSU has long been recognized as a leader in energy, traditional and renewable. For decades, we've been a leader in natural gas research, production, exploration, transmission, end use, and policy, all thanks to our expertise in areas as diverse as geosciences, water resources, engineering, and political science. Now, we'll be working to bring together natural gas expertise from across the entire campus in a collaborative framework that allows us to work effectively to develop solutions for the expanded production of natural gas, a solution designed for today with benefits for our energy future. What our department is interested in is the fundamental geology of the rock strata that host gas and oil deposits. So we do research on shales in particular. Shale deposits are the expanding horizon of, of natural gas today. And about half the faculty in our department do research work on shales. Many of our graduate students are working on shales, and recent technological advances are now enabling us to derive a lot of natural gas, as well as some oil, from shales that we weren't previously able to exploit. And in the long term, this is going to, to shift the balance in our energy dependence. Our undergraduates also are exposed to shale geology, sandstone geology, and other aspects of geology that are important to exploration for hydrocarbons. It's very hands-on. I think an example of that is the annual fall field trip uh, that our students are taken on that is often led by working geologists or people with a lot of experience in industry, people like Ed Warner, who discovered the Jonah Field uh, in Wyoming, who, who happens to be an alum and, and longtime friend of the department. I'm in civil and environmental engineering, but not just in, in our department, but throughout the university, we have a, a large number of faculty that are involved in water research. Many in the industry feel that the availability of water in, in the West, in Colorado in particular, is, is going to be one of the, the big limiters to natural gas production. At Colorado State University, we have a long history of assuring that we, we can manage water optimally and, and that we can meet the supplies that are needed. So in the future, as water becomes more and more important in the production of natural gas, the expertise that exists at CSU in water resource planning and management, in hydraulics, in hydrology, in environmental engineering is gonna become more and more critical to achieve these production goals. CSU's Engines and Energy Conversion Laboratory has been funded continuously for the past 20 years by a consortium of natural gas pipeline companies. We've been working to reduce the environmental impact of compressing natural gas. We have these massive engines in our laboratory and have used them to develop a suite of technology solutions that are now in widespread use across the entire natural gas pipeline system. In fact, almost every engine on the pipeline system uses solutions that either we created or we worked with industrial partners to create. In the aggregate, those engines reduce the pollution, the NOx emissions, by the same amount as removing about 120 million modern automobiles from the highway. And they save fuel, essentially having a negative cost of implementation. Now, CSU is dramatically expanding this laboratory to create the new Energy Innovation Center. This center will also include a natural gas applications lab, further strengthening our work on developing solutions for the utilization of natural gas, and also really focusing on the integration of natural gas with renewables such as wind and solar. You know, the most exciting part to me is, is the interaction with industry on a problem that really matters. In this case, we can apply some of the fundamental research we've done in the past to an issue that's important to almost every person in Colorado. I think the, the more we can direct a coordinated effort toward the establishment of, of sustainable practices in the natural gas industry and sustainable practices in the utilization of natural gas. The better it is for our environment, the better it is for our economy. And I think that in the state of Colorado, uh, we've got tremendous natural gas resources. It only makes sense that, that the land grant institution in the state of Colorado chooses to focus on natural gas.